este video está en español en el canal desde el 2017. Thank you my friend to click into this video. My name is Mario Ernesto and I am a post -tree. I have been working on this trade for a long time ago and I still learning. I learn every day I learn something new. For those who haven't asked me for um, this video in English, I had this video since 2017, but it's in Spanish, 100% in Spanish. Some of you have been asked me for a subtitle in English. I don't know why, maybe because I was far away from the microphone, but when I add the CC function subtitle, Google it doesn't translate exactly what I was saying in Spanish, maybe because I was far away from the microphone. Here I am, my friend. I'm going to add a new audio, but this one will be in English. Let's dive in. Here I got the two bucket seat, as you can see right there. Those uh, seats are easy. Why? Because it doesn't have a top stitch, it doesn't have a, a French stitch, and it doesn't have a, a piping. As you can see, the seat are uh, driving button cushion, is, and it's all beat up, and it is uh, coming apart. That is normal, because it is a driver seat. Uh, before you start taking my part, just pay attention how it is, put some mark on it. Uh, sometimes the customer asks for the same design. When they ask for the same design, you don't have no option. You have to make it exactly like how the old cover it is. Sometimes customers are so flexible that you can uh, change a little bit the design. I already taken my part one, as you can see right there. I removed the cover. I'm only going to show you how you can cut one and sewing one. The seed it is easy to remove. It just you have to know how. It comes with four click, but um, when the car is old, those clicks are toasted. You have to break it in order to take them apart. But don't worry if you break it. I will show you how you can put it back. This seed, because it is old, it is easy. The new seed new BMW have a lot of sensor have a lot of uh, different thing and uh, that it's a little bit harder even to remove the seat out of the car it is kind of if you don't know how you might scratch those plastic you might scratch the paint but this one it is easy when the cover is out of, out of leather the old cover leather tended to shrink so you have to correct the old cover first in case if you're going to use as a pattern so make sure to correct it. If you are not going to use the cover, you are going to cut by the phone. Uh, most of the time I do that, but this time I will use the old cover to cut the new one. So as you can see right there, there are those click, and you can see right there, I am using a plier, and those click are toasted. Most of the time, it will break. Even if you put a hot air, you use a heat gun to warm up, you will uh, squish it and you will uh, end and break it. So just be careful, don't worry about it. Um, you can see right there, the back one have a, have a screw. And that is how I'm going to put it back, with the screw. That's what I, I, I say, don't worry about it if you br uh, break those click. I'm going to use this door panel, uh, click remover it is so easy with this tool if you don't have this tool uh, you can use a flat screwdriver just you have to separate the bottom cushion from the frame that's it and you're going to do the same thing just make pressure just be careful don't uh, if you see it is hard if you make uh, a lot of pressure on it, you might break, but not the, the top part, you might end up breaking the bottom uh, plastic, and that would be not good. So I got this bottom culture already, as you can see right there, that is a sensor. Just be careful, that is an airbag sensor. When the people, uh, when the passenger side sit in there, that means in case of an accident, the airbag will explode. But if nobody is sit, in case of an accident, the airbag is not going to explode. So it is a sense. So just be careful with that part. Don't scratch it. Don't cut it. And it is not necessary to cut it. As you can see how it is. Now I am working on the backrest. That shell. Um, I 
it comes with two screws. You have to remove it and those screws are on the bottom. You see, I just removed those screws and you can see that uh, shell right there is loose. You just, uh, in some you have to pu uh, pull it down and other one you have to pull it up. Simple as that. Now to remove this cover, it is so easy. You can see it right there. Uh, this camera it is old and look weird. You can see it right there, it looks so weird. So uh, I have to re uh, remove the old cover from the frame and the cover is right there with some, uh, this frame have uh, like uh, some tips and you will uh, make a hole on the cover and you will put them inside of those tip. I am using right there, I am using a GoPro uh, number two, I think. That's what it looks so weird. And I even right now, I still learn how to use the camera. Back then I was a rookie. I didn't have no idea how to film. And, but the most important thing is I am showing you, I am showing you that idea, how you can make a, a BMW seat cover. Now I am removing the cover. It is easy. This process it is easy. And because you have to remove that cover, there are some handrails that are holding that cover to the phone. You have to remove those uh, handrails. You either want cutting. You have to cut it. That's the easy way how you can remove it. You need the old cover. No matter what, if you're going to use the old cover as a pattern or you're going to cut it by the phone, you have to remove that cover. I am cutting the listing that is holding the uh, the cover uh, to the phone. You will see how I cut everything, how I sew everything, and how I put it back. So just right now, I am cutting. As you can see, my friend, are you almost done removing this cover from the backrest? And it's done. So next, I have to, uh, I need those wire. I am using a cut plier to cut those horn ring. You can use any cut uh, plier to remove it. So I done removing the, uh, the cover from the backrest. Now I'm going to uh, remove the old cover from the bottom cushion. And you can see I am using a plier. I have pulled the material and I, uh, uh, by pulling, I remove uh, the cover from those, uh, that is plastic. Have like a little tips in you and the cover is inside in there and you have to remove it. And there it is, as you can see. I am not going to show you how you can remove this cover. I'm going to put a, a speed on it because it is the same as removing the backrest cutting cutting the staple i mean cutting hand ring so now uh i am removing those wire and there is done so this part my friend it is so important Put those marks in there. Why? Because when you are going to put in those pieces uh, together, when you are sewing it, those marks will be guide you. Without those marks, the cover might, might be crooked and might look weird. So make sure to put a uh, mark in there. Uh, correct the cover if you have to correct, especially if the leather has been trimmed. Make sure to correct it. So I'm just going to separate this cover. Uh, all, I need all those pieces. Why? Because I'm going to use the old cover as a pattern. And I am using a racing blade. You can use any utility knife to uh, separate it. I am going to stitch it. So I got one. And how are you going to separate the other one? You can unstitch it or you can cut it. Either way. See, I am going to stitch it. It is easier to use the scissor and cutting, but I am showing you how you can do it. Oh, 
Okay, I already separate the top uh, pieces and the side pieces. And I am not going to show you how to do the other one because I already showed you how to do one, but I need a center piece. If you have experience, you don't have to separate the center piece. If you don't have experience, you can cut it all by measuring. Okay, the measuring tape, and you can cut it like that. I am going to cut the center piece, and you just have to uh, measure the width and the length, and don't cut them exactly. Give it some extra. Why? Because you are going to trace it by the all, all later on. Even if you're going to trace it by the phone, by the shape of the phone, I don't cut them exactly. Give it some extra. See, I am putting some mark. This is the backrest cover. And I am doing the same thing as I did with the bottom cushion. Putting some mark. And I am going to separate these pieces too. Same thing with the bottom cushion. I know there are a lot of experts um, uh, subscribing to my channel. If you are one of those who are watching this video, you know the centerpiece it is not necessary to stitch it. You just can uh, measure it by the uh, side of the phone and cut it by the phone. It is easier that way. But I am doing this way for those who never done uh, sit like this. This is the traditional way how you can do it using the old cover as a pattern. Do the unstitches process. But when you have a long time working on this, you will find a way how you can cheat it. on this process. So I got these two pieces. I need these two pieces to cut the, uh, the new one. And by this I will cut the other side. It is not necessary to unstitch that piece because it is the same as the one that I just unstitched. I need this wire because I will use it back. Without that wire, it will be hard for you to uh, make that cover, um, get the shape of the phone. The binder that I will use is this. I will use that binder. You can use leather, you can use fabric. Most of the BMW uh, customer prefer leather, but uh, some of them use vinyl, especially when they are like uh, a little bit of tie with money, they go with vinyl. And that vinyl is stretch one side and the other one it doesn't stretch. So right here, you can see me right there, I am using the measuring tape to cut the, the material that is going to be right there, the insert. So always, always, I give you extra. You can see it, one inch extra on each side. You can give a little bit more that was not a problem. It will be will be better for you if you are learning. But I understand maybe you don't have enough material and you have to cut everything exactly. I understand that part. I have been there, believe me. I have been there when I don't have enough material. Even I make a pattern when uh, the seat cover, I mean when the seat, it doesn't have a, a, a the old cover. The ruler, my friend, it is a straight. Uh, it's the camera who make it look like if it is crooked, but the ruler is straight. Even you will see the, the seat and the backrest at the end look like crooked, but it's the camera. Pay attention to that ruler right now, and you will see it look, uh, look like crooked, but it's not. I was learning how to use the camera back there. So I am cut, cutting and marking, uh, drawing the center piece of this uh, bottom cushion and backrest. And now draw a line. See? See the ruler? 
look like a Paris crooked. It's funny. It's funny. Uh, I, will, I must. Uh, I didn't know how to set in, uh, make a good setting on my camera, but now I know that part. 2020, I know that part. 2017, I didn't know, and I was learning. So now I have to find that distance from right here to the first stitch. You're going to do the same thing. If you are making a seat like this, seat cover like this, or a different seat. And now I am uh, getting the side from the center. Same thing right here. I am making this one piece. Sometimes when you don't have enough leather, you have to make it on pieces. That way you don't waste like leather. Okay, and drawing those lines, those ones are the bottom cushion insert. And I am going to do the same thing with the backrest insert. Why it is not necessary to use the the old piece to cut that one? Because those pieces are straight. That's why I am not going to use the center insert to cut the new one. I just cutting by uh, measurement. You know when those pieces are not straight, uh, you have to use that old pattern or you can cut it by the shape of the phone. I am putting those pieces on top because uh, will be uh, the same phone on those pieces. I will add a half inch uh, phone on those pieces then the center piece will be half inch too. That's what I um, cut the big piece already, including those small pieces. Now I am putting the side pieces of the bottom cushion and back rest in there, just to make sure the amount of, of vinyl that I will use, because I will put the one quarter of an inch thickness uh, headliner, or you can use phone in there just to use it as a backing. Uh, it, is ne it is necessary to add a, a, a backing phone. All depend. Most of the time I add it. But on BMW, it doesn't come with a phone on the side, except to you. I put it that way, except to you. And I am measuring the headdress uh, material because uh, I will put a headliner in there too. Headliner phone, one quarter of an inch thickness. And that's all the vinyl that I will use. So now I got the vinyl for the top piece or the face, bottom cushion and backrest. And I got the side, everything from the side. This is the headliner that I will use for the side. This is only for the side. Uh, one quarter of an inch thickness. Sometimes you have to use it. And sometimes it is not necessary. What happens if you don't use, uh, if you don't put a, put a phone as a backing? Uh, well, to be honest, the cover might look the same. But if you add phone as a backing, the cover might uh, last for longer because we'll have support behind. And I am putting glue. If you don't have a glue gun, my friend, you have to put glue by hand. Applying glue by hand in there will take you longer. But if you don't have a glue gun, you don't have an action. See, I put glue on both sides. Now I just uh, glue on that piece. Easy and faster. A lot of people do like a, a side do, glue in the vinyl to the phone, and then they cut it. But some uh, apostolate, they cut the vinyl for all those pieces, 
and then they put um, the phone on each piece both process are are good all depend how you used to uh, cut for me this is faster a lot of people tell me you waste phone and I know I waste a little bit of phone by using this way. But a lot of people doing this way, my friend. A lot of people I haven't seen. I have been on a lot of poultry shop. And they cut like this too. Uh, and a lot of people, uh, the phone that they wasted, they take it to a special place when they can recycle. So nothing wasted. And create more job for those people who are working on the recycle. Now, after I put phone in there, I am using a pencil. You can use chalk uh any marker but never use a permanent marker to trace this piece i am using the old one as a pattern so i am cutting i am tracing exactly like the old one you're going to do the same thing if you are using the old one as a pattern if you want to stitch make sure to stretch it the old piece if you cut it you know you have to give it like half inch extra for the seams allowance. So I got one piece already and I'm going to cut one more piece the same and the other one will be the opposite side. That's how it works. Now trace them in there. And you see, I just flip it over to keep marking the rest. Two will be the same, and the other two will be the same side, but opposite. I got two, now I have to cut uh, four more. This is the bottom cushion, side panel. The one where you see me just rowing before this was the back rest. I cut one, then I trace three, uh, three more by this one. Put mark in there. And I got it right there. So simple, huh? So far, so good. Those one who are learning, if you are watching this video, these seats are the easier seat from BMW. And I am making a little bit different on that on the stitch. Especially those stitch who go around. And here I am tracing the other two pieces. I am not going to show you how to cut the rest of the this is the bottom cushion, side pen uh, side pieces. And I'm going to show you how to, how you can cut the backrest uh, side pieces. Um, you see me tracing them by the old one, and you just cut it. That's it. And I am throwing everything to my uh, uh, near my sewing machine. That way, after this, I'm going to jump into the start sewing all those pieces. So I got the bottom cushion and the back rest already tracing. And this will be the, the face, the top pieces. And this will have a half inch thickness phone. So, and I am trying to uh, figure out how much material I will use it. And I am cutting right there. So this is a half inch phone. It is a good phone. I put them away and now same thing as I did with the uh, with the other pieces I have to put phone in there I mean uh, glue in there I have to glue on that piece to the phone and I am using a pneumatic glue gun the glue that I am using right there is land down tab and trim that's the glue I just put a little bit, I don't put it too much because I will put a, a stitch on top and this piece it doesn't have a corn. So uh, it's a flat that part. When, it go, uh, when the ink is going to have like a special corn, you have to add a lot of glue 
uh, that way the material will, uh, will stick stick uh, both forming uh, forming vinyl will stick together and you might have to pull it or you might have to uh, put glue uh, to make uh, that shape of the phone that way you have to put a lot of glue when you have uh, when the uh, the phone have like a big curve so I trace all those pieces and now I am cutting you see I am cutting the phone with the vinyl uh, together to do this your scissors have to be sharp otherwise uh, you might uh, create a blister on your hand which one is not good always sharp your scissor good enough to cut without uh, making too much pressure on it so I almost done cutting the uh, centerpiece now I have to cut the steel I still cutting the top piece but this will be the side and this one are small pieces but we'll, uh, we'll have a half inch too half inch thickness phone and always always put them on there give it a half inch extra for the scenes and put mark believe me guys when you have experience doing this kind of thing marking there or especially on those pieces and you have been working on car interior for a long time you know marking there it is not necessary because are small pieces by put mark I put one and I put one more right there and this one should have a uh, I should cut uh, one more like this and I just flip it over and cut the other two these pieces that I am cutting belong to the bottom cushion because they are small the back rest those pieces are a little bit bigger and I am just cutting So now it is time to cut the backrest pieces and you can see it's a little bit longer than the bottom cushion and I'm going to put a waist on top and try to stretch as uh, best as possible because I don't want this piece to be like a um, wrinkle because I am using as a, as a pattern and putting those marks in there I am using a yellow chalk And there is, I'm just going to cut it. Same thing as I did before. I should uh, eliminate this part. I uh, I should uh, sh I'll show you just how you cut, how you can cut one piece, sample the bottom cushion, and eliminate all the rest. But believe me, guys, if you don't have experience doing this uh, uh, upholstery, or you uh, have been working on furniture uh, your entire life, and you want to jump to the car interior and you might be nervous and I try to show you everything everything related to the process that I am working on I want you uh, uh, what I want is uh, when you finish watching my video I don't want to leave any doubt on you that is the purpose of my video that's why my videos are longer and uh, maybe uh, if you have been working on this for a long time ago you might uh, you might know the whole process oh he's cutting after he's cutting he will do this 
and blah 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 uh, you might find like I said boring but if you are learning uh, the purpose of my video is giving you a whole idea whole idea about uh, the job that I am showing you how to do it I am cutting the back rest uh, side uh, I mean uh, rest of the faces uh, face uh, top pieces and I almost done cutting almost it will be easy for me to show you how, how you can cut only one piece right the right or the left piece easy for me but you might say oh how he cut the rest or how he saw the other piece and you will start thinking you will I will start creating doubt on you and there are a lot of videos that I will show you everything because are easy but on this one I am showing you everything my friend and here are all those pieces in there if you don't have experience sewing cutting uh, make sure to do this guy do this uh and stitch one piece put a number on it number one number one go with number two that means what you are sewing it you see i i am stitch all those pieces and i am cutting all and now i am going to sew all those pieces because i have been doing this for a long time ago but if you are learning put number one cut number one uh, cut number two cut number three all of those pieces put a number on it put a mark on it and then when you're going to sew you know you have to sew number one to number two number three to number four and like that it's an example because you might get confused believe me i used to get confused when i was uh, when i was making seed at the beginning i get so confused sometimes i put the wrong piece sewing the wrong pieces together and what am i do i, I go back to an stitch Sometimes I can re reuse it. Sometimes I have to make a new one. You see, I'm putting a stitch right there. That is stitch guy, it is not necessary to put him on. Sometimes you have to sew in, especially when the material is stre uh, stretch a lot. The purpose of the stitch is to keep the material on one side. I see, I am putting those stitch in there. I know some of you might say, well, but original have it. Yes, original come with that stitch. I'm putting that stitch in there. Uh, the machine that I am using is a console 226. It is a heavy duty uh, sewing machine. If you don't have like industrial uh, upholstery uh, machine and you try to do this in a regular uh, like a cloth machine, like a heavy duty, those one the, uh, like industrial, but industrial machine, but for cloth, it's not going to work. It's not gonna work believe me it's not gonna work why because you have a half inch a thickness phone then you have to sew the half inch thickness phone with vinyl um with the quarter of an inch thickness phone plus the other piece of vinyl so it will be thick believe me it will be thick and with the regular machine you can do that that is a listing it's a headliner listing uh it's easy to buy a ready-made if you cannot buy ready-made you have to make it the widow that uh, listing is three inches by going to uh, take uh, fold and fold is three inches. When you fold, it will be inch and a half. I going to take one inch, uh, I mean half inch with the stitch. That listing should be uh, one inch at the end, and you can see right there. So I got one already, and I going to do the same thing with the other one. That is stitch you have to be straight, my friend. And this BMW, it doesn't have a heater. Sometimes when that BMW center piece have a heater, you have to sew the heater to that piece of vinyl right there. So take more time. But it's not a big deal. You can't make it. If I can make it, why you cannot? So I done with one piece. Uh, a lot of people don't put that listing in there. A lot of people, when they saw the when they saw the centerpiece, they just put that stitch on top and they don't put that listing. 
it is, not, it is necessary that listing? Yeah, I would say yes, it is necessary that listing. A lot of people don't put that listing in there. They just put the side listing. This uh, video was from 2017 that I, when I upload to YouTube, but I was recorded a long time before that when I recorded. I remember that CC, that CC that I have it on there. Oh my God. I work in, I was working in a Mustang. Then I forgot to take him out from the Mustang and he went in there. He went on under the carpet. I was, I make a Mustang, uh, 1970, 1969 Mustang. I made the carpet, then the CC went inside the carpet. I remember that. Then I switched to a Kyle Cisse, are way better than that one. Then I am so in the bottom coaching. You're going to do the same with all the rest of the centerpiece. So in on top, put the list in under. You see how I put the uh, listing in there? And I just get, get the listing in there and I am making sure to uh, see. Sometimes when uh, if you don't have experience, or I, I notice some people uh, uh, hold that listing in there with glue and then they sew it. I don't hold it with glue because it's a small piece, believe me, it's a small piece. I just, uh, as soon as I start sewing, I hold the listing all the way to the other end, holding it straight, and you can see it right there. It's done. Simple, huh? Okay. What is next? I got the other piece with the listing. And I got all these pieces right there. Okay, I'm going to start with the bottom cushion. Simple. So when this is, it is easy. So easy. Going to put a stitch right there. And you can put a stitch on the side too. But I'm not going to put a stitch on the side. I'm going to start sewing right there and taking half inch because I give half inch as an extra for the seam. If you put more mature to uh, those uh, notches match each other. If you put match. See, I start sewing. I am sewing the bottom cushion cover. Maybe I am not going to show you the whole process how you can sew it. See, I got the phone right here and now I put uh, uh, the piece that I just sewing in there and make sure fit well. If you see it not fitting well, well, you have to, you might do something wrong. You might give it too much extra, you might uh, uh, give enough for the semen. What do you have to do? Fix it. Because I am working on the bottom cushion, I put a mark in there. You can see, I don't know if you can see that mark. Now you're going to start sewing. And right there. That mark it is very important. That mark. You see, like one inch away from uh, that stitch, I'm going to start putting listing. Because I have to sink in that cover with a... Uh, uh, with hammering, I, I haven't put a lot of mark on the, my sewing machine. I show you something here. That is stitch with the notch match, right? That notch in, in there it doesn't match. Why? Because I put a stitch on the insert, and that make shrink a little bit. But that's not a big deal. 
look I put a notch in there like half inch away from, away from that stitch the other side it has to match make sure if you don't make those such match that cover might look weird you see I am making the notch in there perfect that's all what I need see there is that match the notch in there both has to match and that's all what you need I put a listing under and I start sewing and right here that stitch it has to match with the other notch right there you can see it. perfect right there I cut the listing that means this cover will look nice all those notches match, match each other so now uh, if you want to make sure what you uh, just sewing and cutting fit into the uh, in this case a cushion you can put a cover on it it is necessary to do it but I am doing just uh, that way you can see it and there is the cover it's not sunken yet but there it is simple it doesn't have a top stitch on the side French tip on the side simple cover out of vinyl so what is next I'm going to sew the other one but I am not going to show you I'm going to sew the back rest and you will see that one same thing as I did before uh, if you check the bo bobbin uh, of your sewing machine that way you don't run out of thread in the middle of the uh, sewing process and I start sewing exactly as I did before this is the back rest okay I got one one side I'm going to do the other side and I got the other side right there perfect So next I'm going to sew this into the center piece and let's do it. And you will do the same thing too. That mark is very important. I take it as a reference and I start sewing from right there. Taking half inch. And I just saw a piece in the bottom part of this uh, uh, backrest. You didn't see me doing it, but it's easy. Just uh, follow with the old cover as a reference. And I'm going to uh, sew the other piece. I forgot to put the listing under. I see that way you see me going in reverse without sewing. So I put that three pieces with one stitch. A lot of people do it this way. I think all of the upholstery do it this way. Three pieces with one stitch. Simple and easy. So I got this cover already sewing. So the next step will be take it to a table and see if the phone will need uh, 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 extra phone, extra padding. In case if it does, I will add it. Uh, if you are doing current theory, you know most of the time you have to add at least half inch when you make a new cover. At least, even on the outside piece. The outside piece always get beat up and that's what I did, half inch in there. Even the cover have a half inch, but it's better to do it that way. Right here, my friend, 
you might ask why I am putting this kind of stuff in there uh, because the customer wants something soft in there if I don't add it, that fiber in there or dacron as in there will be hard why because it will be a half inch by me adding that extra uh, dacron in there will make it more comfortable softener and that what the customer want in there i know a lot of you are have been doing car interview might say well why are you using that stuff in there just to make it feel comfortable that's it make it feel comfortable that customer have a problem with the have a, like a back pain uh, something like that he suffered from the from that so uh he asked me for that and i am uh, looking for the right wire that is going to be there always always uh, you can do it manually that is a hand rim a manual pl uh, hand rim plier and that is the best option my friend in case if you can afford a pneumatic a hand rim plier do it manually i put out a uh, standard wire the one we're going across and one is going to be holding on the top the other is going to be holding on the bottom a lot of people don't put this wire in there like I said before, they just uh, hold the cover with that two side wire. I'm going to use a pneumatic uh, uh, hand ring plier that's uh, easier and faster for me. If you have a, your own business, you know, the faster you finish, a job better it is. Of course, but uh, if you work faster, make sure the quality uh, come on the same. So after I done with those uh, holding, uh, putting those two wire in there, I'm going to put the side uh, wire in there. Just put it through, through the listing. Uh, if you put it, uh, make sure to put them on place because if it is too much up or too much down, you might notice the tip of the wire and, and that will end in cutting the uh, cover. Believe me, you as a poster don't want uh, that to happen to you. Because the cotton will, will be in back the cover to you to uh, fix it. Put the wire inside the listing. And now you just have to hold the cover. And I just holding one part, I'm going to hold the other part through the phone and making sure that wire is even on both ends. And there is a specific hole on that phone. That hole means a hand ring will be in there. After you're done holding the cord with list them in there, uh, now you have to. Uh, mounting that cover and if you cut it with the right extra and sewing and you didn't have a problem sewing I don't see why that cover uh, is not going to fit well I don't see why but if you cut it with a lot of extra you cut it shorter you will end up having a, a problem with the cover So as you see me before removing the uh, the old coil from right here, it's gonna be the same. But now you have to make a hole uh, uh, through the vinyl. Uh, that way, that hole you have to get into the uh, tip of this metal, a sun spine, something like that. And you can see right there. I make a hole in there and I put one side. I'm going to do the same thing right there. When the scissor is sharp, you can make the hole 
uh, carrying the vinyl and the phone, half inch phone at the same time, and you're not gonna have a problem with that. You can use a punch hole, you can use uh, tips, uh, uh, a pick just to uh, make that hole. And the bottom cushion it is different because it is plastic. You will see me how do I mount that cover uh, to the bottom, uh, to the frame or to the base. I know my friend, maybe uh, you are not seeing what I am doing right now, but the camera is not pointing to the right uh, position. Uh, sorry for that. Uh, uh, I have been using a camera since 2005 but I never uh, record like videos what I was using for a different purpose. But so far so good and I am showing you how and giving you an idea. I hope, uh, especially if you are learning, I hope you uh, uh, are with me. Follow me in every little detail. Uh, just remember this is easier bucket seat. See I am using a pick just to make the hole it is easier it's easier that way I show you how you can uh, make the hole with the scissor and there are so many different ways you can make the hole in there make sure uh, a no wrinkle on the side if you have to pull it more, uh, feel free to do it. If you have to pull it less, uh, it's your choice. Uh, the most important thing right here, on the back, it doesn't matter if it, there are a lot of pull or a lot of wrinkle. A back shell is gonna cover that part. That problem will be if you have a wrinkle on the front or on the side. That would be a problem. Even if you are learning that cover, should look nice even if you are learning why because this cover it is easier it is easier to do it imagine if you are learning and this one give you a hard time I I understand some easy job for you who are learning might be hard I understand that part but easy job try to do it nice Try to spend time because you are, are practicing. Let's put it this way. You are practicing doing a posture in an easy job. Easy bottom cushion, even bucket seat, you are practicing. When a hard bucket seat is coming through your job, that will be a challenge for you. But you already have been practicing doing a posture in an easy seat, in an easy bucket seat, in an easy bench seat. I am putting the back shell in there. You can see the back rest, it look nice. It look nice. So this back rest is done. Uh, the bottom piece of this back rest, you can see the vinyl right there is loose and the bottom cushion will go on top. So that part is done. Let's uh, do this um, bottom cushion. This is easier, easier to do. And I am going to uh, put this half inch on the top as a pattern. Uh, always, always put a half inch on the bottom cushion, even uh, especially when you made the the whole cover new. Uh, that way the customer can feel the difference. And right there, half inch on top. So you're going to cut around that. Okay, I'm just going to make just two cut right there. I am not going to cut the other part, listing in there because the customer don't want that listing in there. If you see the cover, start ripping and start uh, uh, and stitch it from there. He don't want that listing in there. He just want the stitch. 
I did the same thing with the limb bar. He didn't want it. He said, why? Uh, why he don't want it? Because his waist, when he sit, go in there. And he said, if you make it original, like how it is, it will happen the same thing. And I tried to explain it to him that it's not going to happen because I was, I'm not going to pull it too much. He said, no, don't put a list in there. That's why I don't put it. That's why I didn't cut the phone. And same thing as I did with the backrest. Putting those wires across. And same thing right here. Make sure the wire is even on both ends. Okay, I done uh, holding that cord with hand ring on the top. Now I start putting this cord. I always start from the front. You can see me right there, the front. Then I move to the back. And now I start rubbing that cover. You're going to do the same. Eliminate the wrinkle. How? By pulling, by adding an uh, extra phone, uh, using a steamer using iron anything if you use an iron for a cover you have to know how to use it because you might end up burning the cover especially if it is either leather or a fabric you see before was with um, I am making I am cheating on that part I am putting a staple uh, customer won't be able to see that part and I am not making this way because the customer won't see it, no. The cover will look well done either way, original or this way. And you can see it right there, my friend. Beautiful. The cover can be out of leather, can be out of fabric, and this is vinyl. Okay, you can see that part is done. Just, I made sure to uh, rub it, that way it's... Uh, Okay, now it is time to put this uh, bottom cushion there. Uh, because when I remove it, I break those plastic clips that, that I was holding the front part of this bottom cushion. Now I have to put it, hold it with a screw. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Uh, that part right there, uh, you can use a drill bit. You can make a hole with drill bit and put the screw in there. Or you can use those kind of screws that I made, made that hole by itself. I am using the screw gun and one is done. You can see right there and I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. So it is right there. And I am pulling double screw. Just make sure to hold it strong. See that part in there? You will see me pulling a screw right there. 
Okay, I, I don't know if you noticed, but when I tie the screw, that black plastic come a little bit more out. That's meaning it is tight. So uh, the back section of this, uh, it was with the screw, and there it is, guys. This BMW 1997, the packet seat are done. I just show you one uh, seat, how you can stitch it, cut them and sew it and put them on. Uh, I didn't show you how to make the headdress, but I will keep that on my for uh, next video. I have some headdress on my channel in case if you want to have an idea how to make it. I cheer a little bit on this uh, packet seat, especially on the side stitch. I didn't make it original. Uh, it's hard to tell if you don't do car interior, it is hard to tell. But if you have been doing car interior, you notice that from a long time ago, as soon as I start sewing, because I didn't put the extra list on the side stitch. But it looks good. Uh, I make it this way. I explain the customer, because the customer was looking for something cheaper. And first, I uh, show him leather. He say he don't have enough money for leather, and then he go with vinyl. But it look great. If you see, look like weird. Uh, I already explained you that before. Um, the setting on my camera, I didn't know how to set him uh, properly. Should be linear, and it was wide. That's what it looked like. That even if I put that ruler in there, the ruler might look crooky. Um, by just the camera. Uh, thank you my friend for watching this video. The purpose of this channel is just to give you an idea how you can make your own work. That is the purpose of my channel. This video was uh, filmed um, at the end of 2016 and when I upload was in 2017 in Spanish. For those who were asking me about this video in English, here it is. I know the Spanish version is longer than this. I just uh, cut some part that it wasn't necessary. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, feel free to do it. My name is Mario Ernesto and I am a poster. I have been doing this for a long time ago. But even if I am doing this for a long time ago, I still learn it every day. Like, a lot of you have been doing car interior for a long time ago. We are supposed to, we never going to graduate from this trade. Why? Because we are learning something new. Okay, my friend, for those who were asked me for uh, this video in English, here you have it. See you in the next video. Thank you.